You do. I'll so be quiet. Benny made out that he knew more about wedding dresses than we did. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to the Laura and Benny show. Thank you we for have, having me. Oh, you're so welcome, Grace. We've got Grace from Diamond Bridal today. Um, we're going to talk everything wedding dresses. Yeah. Everything, Grace. It's going to get deep. <laughs> <laughs> I've done my homework. I've done my homework. Benny, you got two pages. I did. I was up early this morning. Very good. Do homework. I'm Half ready for questions. Now this when you don't know what to talk about, because I know like sometimes you figure out you're kind of quiet and don't know what to say. I've got you covered. I know yeah, I think yeah. I've ever been quiet in my entire Grace is like, yeah, yeah, Laura's never been quiet in her entire life. <laughs> But I suppose for people, because um, a wedding dress is something you buy once. Yeah. So we haven't got the experience the of going in, buying wedding dresses. And it can be a very, very kind of daunting, where do I start? Like, what's the starting point? How do I actually start the process? When should I start the process? How should I start the process? But is there kind of a sweet spot for when you should go dress shopping? Uh, I would say no. Um, everyone is different. Some people like to be super organized, okay. like we have girls that have ordered their dresses that are getting married in 2026 wow. yeah. and we get people rocking up and they're getting married in two months time. So okay. it just depends on personalities, like the rule of thumb is generally 12 months prior to the wedding but we'll always get somebody sorted and if somebody wants just to be organized. Um, we can defer delivery and things like that. So yeah, is that yeah. the point of I was kind of one of my kind of things? If you want the stress-free process, like like yeah. what's the kind of sweet spot? So you're probably talking like eighteen months or twelve months is kind of like that nice gentle window where yeah. the whole kind of making and tailoring is like there's loads of room there. Is there if, yeah. if you find that window? Yeah. So generally, like when when you come in and once when you find your dress. Mm -hmm. Most designers, it will take five to six months for the dress to be made because obviously it's made by one person, it's made by from scratch. Um, and then by the time it comes in, we need to allow time for alterations and things like that. Yeah. So, you know, to have more of a choice mm. and to have a relaxed process, yeah. we would say around about that. But if you don't have that amount of time, that's fine too. There's there's always because there is short other engagements. Options. Like people do yes. decide. Like I'm I'm getting I'm I'm getting married there now in three or four months. Yeah. And I suppose it's it's good to point out because you don't want people thinking, oh well I can't go into Grace yeah. because I'm only having a four month engagement and there won't be time to get the wedding dress. Yeah. And if it's a case if it's that close to the wedding, is this, is it like is off the rack the right phrase? Yes. Or okay. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, um, we, you'll be taking my job next. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, we do we do have a lot of dresses that can be sold off the rack so okay. uh, we're now in the midst of buying season again and anything kind of 2023 collections and prior hello puppy puppy oh puppy go oh, down um, <laughs> she's, she's, she's fine yeah anything from previous collections we can sell off the rack okay, um, okay. so there's always those options for people and yeah. i suppose if you're a bride that is on more of a budget okay that could be a good option for you as well because okay. obviously if you're buying off off the peg you are yeah. looking at cheaper <laughs> grace just um rescued a puppy as well as yes. you're telling me so i think our puppy is smelling your puppy grace yeah, and yeah. it's like and you've got a cat too don't you I have a cat yeah. and a puppy. Yeah. So she's um, also smelling the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go find and is that cats. like an industry term where, or kind of an industry thing where people are understanding why some places don't sell off the rack or whatever? Are there certain kind of clauses with certain designers where you can and can't? Is that kind of a thing within the industry? Um, or, or people are trying to understand as to what's going on and where I can go and where I can't go? Yeah, it, it's individual to boutiques. Okay. Um, yeah, and yeah. I suppose okay. for us, we just try to cater for everybody, find regardless yeah. of budget, yeah. size. Okay. My time frame, you know, that that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Okay, cool. Very inclusive all together, guys. Great to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody come in. Yeah, yeah let's go shopping. So we had a brief chat. Like, that's one thing that really kind of came across. It's not just you're not just selling a product like you've just got dresses and you're just selling them. It's kind of you're trying to build kind of an experience whereby someone actually gets a quality service level and then also kind of like gets a full experience. So you have full knowledge from like you're just back from a buyer strip, you're saying. Yeah. And it's like you share your full information from the, the back end to the front end. And I suppose you're not just kind of just selling and turning people yeah. over. You're kind of giving them more of an experience. Yeah, like the, the dress itself is a small part of it. Obviously, it's a big part, but it's yeah. like for the overall experience, mm -hmm. um, it's the most important item of clothing most women will ever wear. So, yeah. you know, and like it's it's our job to make people feel 100% confident. <laughs> so when the bride comes in to us, it's it's a completely private um, appointment. Like we, we block out the, the entire bridal suite for one bridal party. So they're not seeing anybody else. It's a very private thing as well. Mm. And Cork is a, quite a small place, even though it's a huge population. Everyone yeah. seems to be connected and know each other. Everyone knows everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we do stagger appointments. So like we have people coming in at different times and they're not crossing over. Early and late appointments. And yeah. Okay. Things like that. That's and nice. then they, they ha the, the bridal suite is for the bride and her bridal party. Okay. Nobody else is there. Um, you know, we, we make the that the plate like the boutique itself um quite a relaxed environment okay um just i always think of say yes to the dress when i think of these these um, okay. scenarios <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> but that yeah. wasn't a private thing i was always laughing at you know do you remember that tv program say yeah, yes to the dress yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'd be going in and there'd just be like these multiple people all over I this know. massive store putting on dresses yeah. Yeah. i i much prefer the idea of a um, private space that's yeah. a very american thing actually we do stock uh, randy finoli who is the presenter okay. of the yeah okay. we stock his designs he's the presenter of yes to the dress and oh, right. we were in amsterdam two weeks ago to meet him um we actually had our own workshop with him and everything it was amazing Brilliant. but um what he does like he's in kleinfeld in new york which is massive store mm. yeah and he's going from appointment to appointment and there's people on the podium here and here and here yeah. and there's yeah. a big massive right no it, it, it's not like that. <laughs> it's not like that <laughs> when we're watching that show there's one thing i think of i was like can you imagine being one of the girls just kind of like is, yeah. isn't in the show but you're just kind of off in the background trying on things that don't yeah. suit you <laughs> it's on tv yeah and in reality how was that experience because like when you kind of talk about like the tv show and stuff like is it a genuine thing where there's a gaggle of people coming in or is it kind of like are some people more private and they're just bringing one or two people what's the kind yeah. of trend i know everyone has, like we always say yeah. some people like that photograph they don't like that photograph that film that music whatever mm -hmm. everyone has a different approach but like what is actually happening in reality if people are kind of like going i feel like i should or shouldn't bring someone mm -hmm. or i have to bring someone you probably yeah. don't again i i do think it's up to the individual personality mm -hmm. um our advice is always keep it to a minimum and keep it to people that you're relaxed with and people yeah. that will be honest. Yeah. Um, now, look, if they want to bring 10 people, that's absolutely fine. It's okay. pretty rare though, is it? it? Not as rare as you think. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. As as you think. Um, but like our advice for for the bride's sake, as opposed yeah. to rare, would be like maybe one or two people that you just feel you're most comfortable with. Okay. Yeah. Um, with a lot of people there, there's yeah. a lot of opinions. Um, yeah, I was going to say, know, it's too many voices almost, you know, because it's hard enough to like pick your own wedding dress, but it's too many voices. Does that sometimes, because like, you know the way I say you've got 10 people, for example, yeah. and like five of them are saying, they're like crying, mm -hmm. that's the dress, you look amazing, and yeah. the other five are just sitting there quietly going, mm, don't yeah. like that. Is, is that harder for the person actually picking Absolutely. to find? Absolutely. Yeah. And they're trying to please them as opposed okay. to please themselves. And um, like yeah. I always say to the bride, no matter what, what anyone says or thinks you're the one that's wearing it okay you're the one that need, needs to feel amazing in this yeah um okay you can take people's opinion obviously yeah uh, and we won't let anybody go out in something that we don't think is is, is going to be the best dress that's, for that's them. hard for you grace though is it do you like do you like as in not hard but like it's kind of i have thought i always find like as a friend i suppose as a friend to mm. my friends kind mm. of thing if i had a friend that was even just going out and you look at them and go oh i can't leave you leave the house like that like, yeah, like yeah. you know, you might have had a quick glance, but you're like, oh no, like there's something yeah, yeah. much better there for you. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you feel like it's the honest, like not, it's not in a mean way or anything, but it's, mm -hmm. it's the honest friend that says, you look good, yeah. but I've seen you in better. I yeah. know you can wear better, but it's that hard for you guys to kind of, if someone's like, oh, I love this. And you're mm -hmm. kind of looking going, it's just not the right style or shape or something for you kind of thing. I know yeah. there's something better. Yeah, yeah. and like mm. we, we, when we do feel that way, it's rare, to be honest, okay. because when we, we give, give them all of the options um, and they take our advice, sure. that, you know, like we do have girls often and, you know, Instagram and whatever, and they come yeah. in with yeah. screenshots and the person in the picture looks nothing like them. Yes. And they want to try on that dress. And we kind of say, absolutely, let's go for it. But yeah. I think this would suit your figure better or okay. this kind of, and the, you know, there are ways that around That help is invaluable though. Yeah, yeah. And they appreciate that. Okay, they good. They really do. Yeah. I mean, it's not in our best interest, okay. regardless of how much somebody's going to spend with us. It's not in our interest for them to come along and you guys are photo photographing them. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, it's just they're not kind of quite saying, right. Yeah. Her, you know, we, yeah. we wouldn't do that. And like, mm. we just want the bride to feel her most beautiful and okay. be the happiest she's ever been mm. in, in an item of clothing. That, that's, that's our goal. And yeah. thankfully, we. I, I think we've all the wore something that when you go out, then you realize this just doesn't work or it yeah. doesn't suit me, whatever it is. Yeah. Every, every, everybody's yeah. done that. And I suppose it's, people have to remember on a wedding day, you're doing so much activities, it's kind of like, Grand if you want a style or something, but yeah. you're, you're, you're going to a church, yeah. you're probably then going to get photographs, 
you're going to be effectively in a bar scenario where in your drinks reception mm-hmm. and then you're in a dining s- situation yeah, yeah. for your dinner and then you're going dancing later on. So you're doing like five or six different activities and then whatever your personality is, you yeah. might want to go, I really want to move around. Mm-hmm. But then someone else is like, I really want a style. So it's yeah. kind of, it's to be aware of that in the wedding dress, yeah. I suppose. And like you have to be practical as well. Like, yeah. and, and we do people, get people coming in and they want to wear big ball gowns and you're okay. kind of saying, okay, but you're getting married in a garden. Or, you yes. know, yes. You, you, I suppose you have to dress for your venue. Um, luckily, that's where our extra added extras kind of come in. As in like, if somebody wants to wear the big ball gown, okay. but they're doing something later on in the evening that doesn't sure. warrant that, okay. um, we would advise an overskirt. So they're wearing that, you know, sleek fitted dress with the overskirt over it, um, maybe add a sleeve that can be taken off afterwards. Yeah. So there are loads of options. Okay, okay. Loads and loads and that, that is one of the favorite, that my favorite things I've seen. Yes. Cause like you've got the bustle and the bustle yeah. works great most of the time kind of yeah. thing when you can, when I say bustle and we can, we can go into that later on, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can just make the dress shorter at the back. That's a really simple yeah, <laughs> explanation yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. Um, so you can go dancing. But the skirt, it's kind of like, I feel some, like you do see in the year where people will buy two wedding dresses. They'll mm-hmm. have one for earlier in the day and then one for what they kind of look at the party of the mm-hmm. day and make a reveal. But the, the having the overskirt on the dress, I find that from when, because we'd be there and we would see kind of people's reactions once yeah. it comes off, that like when that skirt is taken off later on and you're just wearing, as you said, that sleek dress mm-hmm. or when you decide to remove a sleeve, as you were saying, yeah. kind of thing, the amount of people that look at the bride and go, oh, you've got a second yeah. dress. I didn't know you were doing two dresses. Yeah. And they have, because it does look totally different for later. So it's a nice yeah. way of kind of doing two different styles. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, we do have people that come in, they look one, two looks, okay. and we, we show them this. Because I think like, mm. you have to love your dress so, so much that you don't want to take it off. Yeah. Also, the cost of it, you know, yeah. having to get two as opposed to like just getting one and True. having your little add ons, yeah. the amount of time it's going to take in alterations, things like that. So, yeah, I, I like yeah. look, it's, it's personal choice, but for me, go yeah. with one. And if you want to change things up, then yeah, absolutely. And um, we even have a few dresses from this season that are short underneath. Wow. And when they're oh, on, yes, they yeah. don't look like it, it doesn't look as if they're short underneath, yeah. but when the skirt comes off, they're like knee length or midi okay. length. Or, yeah. yeah, so you kind of got a little party you dress. You wouldn't really see that. Like, like when you say that, the reason I'm like, wow, is because like you don't see that. So something like that, when you say that, that's Hope we see that now. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if that's a new trend, it, it's nice to see something different or kind of like yeah. that would be kind of a wow factor. I think yeah. if you came into your dancing later on, and there was a complete change and it was really obvious even that lads would notice it'd be like that's yeah. impressive <laughs> i love that really notice that lads yeah, would notice. But, it, but it's but it's gas like it but it's like oh it's so true sure a groomsman would be like oh yeah you know, just you're still wearing white I, are you I mean, yeah we probably told the story notes but like the, the, the one of the funniest stories was when laura was like told to wait in the lobby because she was going to come down the stairs and kind of there would be a reveal to himself okay, but like yeah. himself just started talking at her she didn't notice <laughs> she was wearing her twig, jeans yeah her own groom she, didn't notice but she changed the dress. She thought, she thought it was so funny because yeah. it was so him. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I suppose they, in the day, it, so much goes on that sometimes it just goes over your head because you just like you're not yeah. seeing the details because it's just all a blur and a different things happening. Yeah. But on the subject of, of trends, do you find that like do people? Because you mentioned earlier on as well, like showing you Instagram pictures and yeah. what you see on, do you know what what is trending online. Yeah. Do you find a lot of people kind of do they kind of really kind of want to be on trend? Mm-hmm. Or are they more kind of like, I just want it to be me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you need to dress for your personality. You okay. know, if you're if you're used to a particular even neckline or if you're mm. you know, if something that suits you and you're comfortable mm. with it, I think you need to feed that yeah. into your wedding dress. Mm. Uh, the wedding dress is not the same or it, it's not the day to be experimenting with styles. Yeah. It yeah. really isn't. And the same mm. with the hair and makeup artists will tell you this, you know, mm. they've always wear their hair up. Wear your hair up on your wedding day. You yeah. want to look like yourself. yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, it's, it's your like, partner like, fell in We get asked for glasses. Is, is it okay if I wear my glasses? Don't wear my glasses. And we always wear say, if you're going on a night out, wear your gla- yeah. would you wear glasses? And they go, yeah. No, wear your glasses. Be yourself. Yeah. Be, be Wear your hair the way it is. Do you like it? And, and like, yeah. don't, or, don't, don't go too extreme. Yeah. Or yeah. even people like hiding their tattoos. I'm like, again, it's a personal thing, but I'm yeah. like, that's you. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. an expression of that's you true. and that's your true. personality. Yeah. Um, and actually, that's a really good thing to bring up, Grace, the tattoo covering thing. Because mm. I've I've been at many mornings where there's been kind of, 
you know, whether you regret the tattoo or you don't want Nan to see the tattoo, yeah. there could be a few yeah, true, reasons true. Yeah. that you don't want the tattoo on show. But if you're gonna, if you've got a large tattoo on your back mm -hmm. and you buy a backless wedding dress, yeah. you're now getting into using some sort of makeup product that the makeup artist will help you with mm. as a cover up. But I always kind of in those moments, I always feel a bit fearful that I'm like, if you sweat or if it transfers, like, cause it's white and brown, like it's, mm. it's going to, yeah, it's like it's going to stand out. It may or kind may of, not work. It may or may not work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of like in those cases, I think it's probably important that if someone was coming into you mm -hmm. to say, okay, listen, I have this tattoo on my back. Mm -hmm. I love it, but I don't want someone to see it or I hate it mm -hmm. and I want no one to see it. It's not to be my way of wedding photos. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like that's going to dictate, I suppose, Style. The style, yeah, 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 and it may not even be a tattoo. It could be a scar. It could be a sure. surgery scar. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, like there are amazing products on the market that you can cover sure. up and things like that. But I, like, you just I, don't I'm know. with you. Yeah. I'm like, you know, if you don't want your back on show, don't wear a backless dress. Okay. okay. You know. Yeah. Same with I your think, arms, I suppose. Well, Some people are quite conscious say, about their arms, yeah. and they don't like themselves in side profiles, or mm. do you know that kind of way? So it's kind of. You kind of either your place, and you find some days with the they might not have wanted to wear a sleeve because a sleeve isn't for everybody kind of thing. No. But I suppose the obvious thing is to if you never show your arms when you're going mm -hmm. out and you were to wear a blazer or a sleeve, mm -hmm. then again, as you said, don't change who you are on your wedding day. Because yeah. um, there's some days you find the girls and you can see them; they're just kind of a little bit conscious, and this is this is this goes on quite a mm -hmm. lot kind of thing. And you find they're wearing a veil that they're they're constantly like pulling the veil over the arm. But then I always feel kind of a little bit sorry for them because they're just not kind of like free. To to kind of just yeah. move around or not worried about what angle they're at yeah. or you know like wave your arms in the yeah, air yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want to um, I am <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. exactly and are there, are, are there situations when sleeves work or don't work or kind of how does that work yeah like sometimes when people come in they're conscious of their arms by putting something there it's drawing okay. attention hey. to the area yeah that's yeah. a good so, point as well like yeah. a lot of the time we would encourage like a big embellishment on the waist or okay. something draw that will the draw eye. the eye yeah I like so it it's, it's just all yeah. about deception and yes. enhancing the parts where you're really comfortable with okay yeah. and good. just not putting anything in the parts yeah. you are so that, yeah. that, that sometimes yeah. works but if somebody is, is adamant they don't want to have a sleeve okay. or they don't want to show their arms then absolutely Absolutely, there are okay. there there are ways of doing it, but yeah. I, I wouldn't put it like too obvious that it's going to draw someone's eye to a part that you don't want to see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And while we're on talking about like you know accentuating your assets, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we all know Stop. where I'm going with this. We all know where I'm going with this. So cleavage. Yeah. Because like there is some dresses that are they're so low cut they're almost to the navel kind yeah. of thing. And then there's some dresses that are obviously much more modest. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I'm bringing this up is, is that obviously, so if you're wearing a dress that's a little bit more low cost, mm -hmm. and, but you don't want to accidentally give someone, you know, yeah, yeah. a little peepee your nipple or something yeah. <laughs> here and there. It's kind of like, so I suppose underwear, mm -hmm. like that kind of choice when you're, so if you're picking a low cost dress, mm -hmm. you need to probably think about, are you going to tape? Are you going to actually get some sort of underwear customized or do yeah. you help? Can you help with that or is that? Yeah. 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 So like all of the dresses, all of the designers that we work with, they have built in structure and underwear. So you don't, you don't okay. need to wear a bra. I love this. Um, this is like literally yeah. music to my ears, Grace. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you don't. And that's and like, that's why we always do a okay. final fitting the week beforehand okay. because with the nature braids, um, body shapes will change a little bit or whatever. So yeah. just in order for the dress to fit them 100%. Okay. Um, some girls are very happy to show a little bit of cleavage. Others, oh, I, I'm like, like if, if if it's your if it's your yeah. you, you use cleavage when you're going out normally, cleavage is totally fine. I think yeah. it's lovely, some, especially in summer. Yeah, you kind of got a bit of skin, and it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And and deep V's are are very on trend at the moment yeah. as well. Um, so it's it's whatever you're most comfortable okay. with. It really okay. is, but it's also very important to have it fitting correctly. That you know, it's not gaping or yeah. you're not going to have like... Uh, they don't feel like you're going to fall out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk up the aisle and be like, good morning, father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's a really good point. So all your addresses, you don't have to worry about the underwear side of it, no. that it's actually built in. No. That's and, amazing. And we often get girls coming for fittings with bras and they like... 
I, I actually don't remember a time recently yeah. that anyone has had to wear a bra with the dress okay. because they're all built in already. Okay. Um, we do add cups as well, different cups if you, if you need Perfect. to. So yeah. That's 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 kind one of less thing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say it's like thinking yeah. of everything because like you yeah. know a lot of people tape and stick and, and it's it, it's grand in hindsight kind yeah, of thing. But a lot of time it moves and it comes yeah. off and, and it's not yeah. practical. And then like yeah. again, um, that's banks as well will be another or whatever. The, 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 I think we all know what banks are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know, just suck me in underwear. Just, yeah, I don't want to be naming yeah. any particular brands. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I think we all just say spanks. We don't mean the brand spanks. We just use it like casually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um. Again, like the, the seamstress inside of us, she's like, it has to go somewhere, and she's so right. She's like, yeah. take it off. <laughs> totally right, though, because if yeah. you roll it off from here, it's gonna have to come out over here. If you roll it from your thighs, it has to. Yeah, yeah. you're totally so right. So I yeah. think that the, the dress that you choose, okay. you shouldn't have to wear any support underwear okay. with. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I suppose so. Like you touched on the fit has to be right. Mm-hmm. Um, and say if you're a bride that like. You're a 2026 bright. Oh, 20, am I right? Yeah, 2000. Yes. I was like, what year is it? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> did I go 20 years beyond? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a 2026 bright um, and you're, say you're planning to lose a bit of weight mm-hmm. or you're planning to tone up or you're planning to, you could be doing anything to change something yeah. just to improve on what you see as a part of your body that you'd like to kind of feel more confident about. Yeah. It's kind of, is I know, so you could go shopping now, mm-hmm. you could order the dress you want, but I'm assuming the fitting would happen a lot closer to yeah. the wedding. Yeah. So what you do between now and in two years time, yeah. like, does it make much of a difference or can it be extreme? Um, yeah, We would always say go by the measurements on the day of purchase. Okay. And then eight weeks before the wedding, mm. the alteration process begins. Okay. Um, like every bride is going to be different from the yeah. majority of people. Some people say the same and I'm very jealous of those people. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but we all do, like a, yeah. 12 months time, 20 months, four months time, we're all going to change whether it's up or down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And with an event coming up, we all automatically go to, right, okay, I'm yeah. going to be good. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go to the gym. I'm yeah. going to yeah. eat better. I'm going to do all these things. Yeah. Yeah. But then a lot of time, people when people are at the gym, they're actually, they're bulking, bulking up. up. Mm. Yeah. So toning. Yeah, exactly. Muscle. So they, they might they might yeah. be slimmer, but they're also bigger in other areas okay. and things like that. So okay. that's why the um the alterations come into come into play. Okay. Um nearer the time. Um we have a lot of people that say, Oh, can I order size down? Can I go two sizes down? I'm gonna okay. be three stone lighter. Yeah. No, yeah. like you do not want to put yourself under any sort of pressure. Yeah. Like, it should like be... amazing if you did it, but at the yeah. same time, life but, gets in but the way. But even at that, yeah. like, so, so, so someone who actually kind of like has a plan, I'm going to do this and actually does it really well to guess what that is in yeah. the end. Like you could mm. o- overstep that challenge or beat yeah. the challenge or the goal, like to, to, to hit a target on the button. Like it's probably yeah. impossible. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, it really is. So okay. that, that, that's always been our advice. Okay. Um, you know, and if somebody does insist on, on yeah. you know, sizing up or sizing down, it's like, okay, sign here, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, to be fair, like 99% of the time they take our advice okay. and when they come in for their alterations, whether okay. they've gained a bit of weight, whether they've lost a bit of weight, it doesn't matter. It can be okay. tweaked. Like nobody, yeah. nobody's going to fit into the perfect size anyway. So we would always tweak a dress to, to fit that, okay. the person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you know when you say like alterations, I think people's brain automatically goes to a little tweak on the waist, a little tweak mm. on the hips, these kind of things. But I, you know, the way I meet brides and they're like, I say, oh my god, the dress is like I've I've never seen a dress like it, and yeah. they and they and then they kind of start pointing out to me what they what it was to start with, yeah. and then all the things they Crazy. did. Sorry, go down, okay. she's, she's having a zoom. she's zoomy, zoomy Come mood. On. Down you get. Good girl. Um, she wants the cakes. Actually, <laughs> thanks for the cakes, Grace. Everyone has to stop bringing cakes. <laughs> Too much cake. Speaking of size, I literally will be too stolen heavier by the time the podcasts are over. Um, but yeah, so it's not like I think people's brains go to like you know a little bit of a hem tweak or mm-hmm. a waist tweak or these little things. But um, there's loads you can do when it comes to alterations. Yeah. When it comes to tweaking the dress, yeah. um, is there anything you've seen that's kind of like stands out in your mind that they did something you're like, oh my god, that's amazing. That's something different. Or As is in- it usually like add a sleeve or change a necklace or you know some people say to me this actually used to have a huge train yeah i got rid of the train yeah. do, do many people kind of change things like to an extreme like that or is it more the small tweaks it depends yeah. um a lot of the time it is small but they, they can mm. change and like yeah. if somebody's in doubt i'm always like look go what it is okay i can always change it afterwards so like, true. if they then yeah. want to add the sleeve if they then yeah. want to lose the train uh losing the train for me is like mm, 
I don't know. Like, is that yeah. the, are, are you ordering the right dress if you want? Should to you have gotten it? something yeah. without a trade? I know yeah, what you yeah. mean. Yeah, that's, that's where true. your bustle comes into play as well. So we okay. can just pop it up and yeah. Done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. done. Easy, easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for those of you that don't know, because we've mentioned bustles twice, and people oh, yeah. like, what is a bustle? Because <laughs> even some bridesmaids on a day, like, you know, there's some, like, you can see the quiet bridesmaids in the corner and people are talking about bustles and she's like, idea what's going okay. on here what's yeah, this yeah. word yeah. so do you want to explain to people actually what bustling a dress yes, is yes, 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 <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Um, so um the majority of, of dresses will have trains okay um, so for the evening time obviously it's not practical to try to, to dance or to move around with with the train so um okay. we put what's called a bustle and um, some bustles are easier than others like if it's a, a very sleek satin dress it's okay. just a matter of putting like in, invisible button and and putting it up um, just like done I love those ones you yeah. literally just find it and you tweak it up and it's there yeah, yeah. and yeah. then ball gowns with like multiple layers underneath that they are going to be a little okay. bit more um, tricky but it's all doable yeah it is all doable I suppose because you've got wider material don't you with yes. the ball gown so it can't just come off from the back because no. it would be le left to the sides is that yeah. kind of what that is yeah yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we, what we do is we uh, when, when the bride comes for her final fitting sure um, she, we say bring whoever's going to be bustling on the evening and okay. if that isn't possible because you know with the nature of people living yeah. in different places yeah. and whatever um, I will be there and I'll take a video of Margaret, I've the seen seamstress. many of your videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm all because I'm always like, you know, you you could be there in the even, in the evening. We're showing you how to do it, but then the the, the wedding day is it's totally different. And you're like, and there's a few glasses of prosecco in as well. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So once the video is there and we're giving you do this, do that, you yeah. know, it, it, it's it's much easier. So that's uh, okay, okay, that's something that we do. Yeah, okay. So it just makes it easier to move around the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, because people ask me this on the wedding day, and it's kind of like I say do it when you're ready, there's no mm. rule to it. But with the bustle, a lot of people say to me, so when do I bustle my dress, Laura? Do okay. I do I do it once we're finished at the ceremony part? Or do I do it after the drinks reception? Or do I do it before dancing? I kind of say, I suppose do it when, obviously you for, their, for your photographs, you mm -hmm. want to show off the full dress. Mm -hmm. So like you're not going to bustle up your dress and then go out and take photographs and the beautiful train is yeah, no longer no, visible, yeah, if that yeah. makes sense. Now, unless you're not overly bothered and you just yeah. kind of wanted it off for that big dramatic aisle walk. Mm -hmm. But I suppose, do you say the same? It's kind of like a case of bustle it when you're ready or... Yeah, yeah. it's a personal thing. Um, yeah. I suppose for practical reasons, the first dance is probably a good time to do that. Yeah. So after the meal, before the first dance, it's 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 a good time to go do that. Well, just it. setting up, go to the room. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. But you, can you? I mean, if you're sitting down for dinner, is it possible to sit in the bustle, or is it like oh, no, just gone? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, it's not an it? extra bit, Benny. It's just no, the dress but, but, being but literally full If they're kind of like going into their drinks reception, yeah. then mm -hmm. and they're kind of like, here, I just want to bustle this. Yeah. They can yeah. go for it. Oh, they can. Um, we always do the sit down challenge as well when they come for their final. Oh, really? Just to make sure. It's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, with you'd be like, you'd be like backing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can get there. I can get there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sitting in the ceremony, think of it like I'm here. <laughs> you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> goes and back then, to the practicality. It does go back to the practicality. Yeah. And I suppose when it comes to, because I'll get away from alterations and bustling okay. at the moment. But <laughs> because I, cause these are all the things you hear people talking about. Yeah. Do you know that yeah. kind of way? No, no, so if you like hear them talking about it, you're kind of aware of this is what's going through their brain. Mm -hmm. So I suppose when it comes to your wedding shoes, yes. and obviously all wedding shoes, you can go from flat to a six inch heel. Everybody's different. But should you, I mean, I would imagine you should at least have your shoe height picked or your shoes bought before you do your final alterations. Oh then yeah, twice. Even, even the first yeah. one. Like we, okay. we can't see somebody for alterations without their shoe. Okay. That yeah. has to be the shoe. Because yeah. they're yeah. like, oh, it's similar. And you're like, no, no, it has to be the actual yeah. shoe. Even yeah. if they have the intention to have whatever yeah. X amount of heel, like, and then they pick something and it's yeah. not yeah, exactly Yeah, there's that. nothing yeah. worse. Yeah than seeing something off the floor or yeah, something that's too long okay. or, you know, or they're falling uh, over just kicking up the aisle yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so we always like we remind them a lot to make okay. sure you have the shoe and um, we always send a text the day of the fittings cool. and you'd be surprised the amount of people that rock up and the shoes are not sure. anywhere <laughs> but uh, no, I you can only give advice you can only give advice shoes. Oh, really? like, like we're in a hotel you can't okay. find the shoes in fairness so like shoes are tricky Okay, yeah. um, and when, when it comes to a shoe, comfort is key. Like, oh, yeah. Now, yeah. we do have a lot of dresses with slits at the moment, so obviously the shoe is seen. Oh, yeah. But it's a feature. 
It's a yeah. feature, okay. exactly. And yeah. that's when you can go for your colored shoe or yeah. your bling or your yeah. bow or your, but, yeah. yeah. My yeah. advice is always something comfortable, okay. something you will wear again. Sure. Um, like if you're not used to wearing heels, your wedding day ain't a good time to start. No. Yeah. And some girls don't wear heels. They yeah. they wear flat sandals or they wear mm. cons. Yeah. Sometimes you can't see the shoes. I know. If the ball gown's big enough, you'll never see the shoe again. Yeah. It's kind of it's in there Absolutely. somewhere. And yeah. I think like even myself, I, I used to wear heels all the time okay. to work. And now like you saw my shoes today, like yeah. I'm literally um since lockdown I think we all got used to wearing yeah, runners and slippers. Yeah. Oh my heels are dusty upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I haven't had them out yeah. since. So that's yeah. what I always say to brides. And it's now socially acceptable to go out with flat shoes. So. No, it, yeah. no, no, it totally yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sure when we were younger if you went out without a pair of heels on, like you weren't dressed up. Nowadays no. they put on a pair of miniskirt and they go out with pair of flats. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Look, whatever makes you feel most amazing. Okay. And then we get like my partner's taller my partner is smaller or there are all things to take into yeah. consideration as well yeah because so. there is some girls that are genuinely taller than their partner and yeah. i suppose like, and they do and some people are totally fine about it. they're like well this is our height and this is yeah. this is who we are and i always wear heels so he's shorter than me and yeah. whatever it is um but then there's some people that they would go shorter just to kind of keep it level even yeah 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 or go higher to be closer to yeah. the height of their partner yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 oh that's the other side of things yeah so some yeah. guys could be six foot five and you could be five foot four yeah it's a big difference I know. <laughs> but if, if you are if, if you do want to wear a heel for for that okay. reason a block heel with a strap yeah. yeah, good call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, can't be, go too wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't need a block heel as well if you're having like an outdoor ceremony in a garden area somewhere that you're yeah, not sinking into grass or you know even if there's a carpet put down the carpet's still sinking it. Like so, yeah. these are all little things that of and go like, to I, I don't see the yeah. side of it. So <laughs> the the end products yeah, when they're actually yeah, using yeah. it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I suppose on that subject as well. So like that's the shoes that you definitely would need them. Especially for your last fitting, like there's it's for your first fitting. For your first, sorry, for your first fitting, yeah. and then bring them through to your last fitting. I yeah. suppose to make sure it's right. But when you're going in to pick out the dress, is there anything? Because these, like, if you were going in, you're like, oh, what do I need to bring with me? What do I need to wear? What, like, do I need to have tan on? Do I need to have makeup on? Should my hair be up or down? Do people think this way, or do they just show up? And, um, some yeah. people do. Yeah, I would say comfort, comfortable clothes. Okay, because you're getting in their dresses, yeah. so something comfortable. Yeah. Um, tan and makeup uh it's a very personal thing i mm. mean obviously we we do look after our dresses an awful lot in the, in the store and yeah. because yeah. like we we do sell off the peg dresses to people yeah. and things like that so we do like to okay. keep them nice and clean yeah. it's but true though you don't want it scraping off yeah, yeah. no yeah. drinking cups of coffee yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we don't have a no tan no makeup policy because okay. i know some people won't go outside the door without their makeup and tan sure. and if they're coming in they're not going to feel comfortable and confident in a wedding dress um because they just feel they, undressed on their face yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely okay. so okay. if mm. if they need to do that that's absolutely fine but what we what we okay. do say is nothing like instant or no like bronzers on your neck and stuff like that that's going to transfer onto yeah. the dress because okay. we don't want you know we want to keep them nice and, and not grubby so makes sense yeah it does yeah, it's, it's yeah, a, yeah. a less a heart egg for you guys yeah, to be yeah, fair yeah. um and then I suppose like so keeping on the accessory do you sell veils as well then? yeah yeah, yeah. We do, we do, do you find because yeah. I still see more veils than without veils do you still do you find the most yeah. your bridesmaids will wear a veil I would say 90% yes yeah. and like even the girls would say no I don't want to wear a veil yeah and then let's just try one and then it's like wow is the finished product yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. um yeah. a lot of the mums love the veils as well but uh, they do they, yeah. think they feel like it's not a wedding dress without a veil yeah. and now i like, and i've seen many girls not wear a veil and they would wear um some sort of accessory in their yes, hair or something and that's lovely as well but do you sell all different lengths of veils then? yeah all yeah. different lengths depending on the length of the dress um, okay we have a lot of feature veils as well we have a lot of floral um 3d yeah. you know 3d flowers color uh, I pearl. saw one of those last year actually. Yeah. Was it like is it the, they were little pink? Yeah, we have pink, pink. flowers kind of yeah. all up. It was really Very unusual. Beautiful. It was gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Now I would. It depends on the dress. Like okay. your dress would probably want to be quite simplistic if you're wearing such a feature veil like okay. that. But it is a real big part of it now. It's okay. not just complimenting the dress it's more of like the add a white effect. veil to your white dress yeah yeah, yeah or whatever yeah. i'm just saying white is a casual term but yeah. a lot of them wouldn't actually be white be, no nothing is nothing white, is white. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just think white wedding dress yeah. but i know they're all champagne in different colors like that yeah, yeah, um yeah. so yeah so, and do you find that people still go for the you know the cathedral and veils the big ones yeah. do you still do you still yeah. get a lot of that yeah, yeah i do a lot of that yeah um just something that comes over the train of the dress usually and then, okay yeah yeah, and then the short ones. You don't see them very often. They're, They're coming the back. Yeah. They are yeah. coming back. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I do. Because nobody wanted short veil for years. And yeah. now I find... 
See, we buy so far in advance. Like yeah. I've like I'm in the in the middle of buying season now at the moment and we're buying for like 2025, 20, 2026 20, wow. brides. Okay. And I do yeah. see a lot of like different things like that, like yeah. short veils and just So do you yeah. get to go to a lot of fashion shows and runways? Yeah. And that yeah. sounds really like that yeah. sounds like a really kind of like fun job, Glamorous. Grace, I must say. You get to travel <laughs> to fashion know. shows. Running a business is not glamorous, <laughs> is it? It's kinda of like when you have to travel for work, it's kind of, it can be tough, can't it? It can be heavy hours. It and is. You've to, it you're is. trying to make sure that the, the store is still working well and that yeah. everything is functioning. And then you're trying to go off to a fashion show and enjoy yourself yeah. and kind of really concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I've got nine shows this year, and they're oh. like I've had I've had four in the last five weeks. So. Um, oh wow. Okay. Yeah, Thanks for yeah. coming in, Grace. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm off again tomorrow morning. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah. So it, you know what? It's lovely, and I love yeah. seeing the trends, and yeah. it's it is amazing because we get to meet the designers, and we get to speak to them about their designs, and we get to meet other. Do you get to give them feedback on how you find yeah. that, like the way it works and fits, and what people like? And yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's fabulous because yeah. when I started, um, when I started the business, we used to go to like big trade shows, and they'd yep. have like you know 50 designers under one roof, exactly, and you're kind yeah. of going. Whereas now they're all doing their individual shows, which. Like, it's yeah it's it's amazing that we have that personal experience okay. with them and we get yeah. to meet everybody and get to see all the designs and um spend a lot more time choosing in each individual ones yeah. um but then like the flip side of that is you're out of the store a lot you know trying to juggle family life and yeah. pulling in favors from neighbors and parents and <laughs> for kids. And then you went to the puppy on top of I know. the house. <laughs> yeah. I know. And a cat. But and then, and then, a cat. And then yeah. go on. So you get to meet all these designers. But if, again, if people are kind of wondering what designers you carry, go on, drop some names there and kind of tell us what kind of what in stores do you have access to. Okay. Yeah. Um, so our designers would be, uh, a lot of our designers are uh, American, Australian. We have some Spanish designers as cool. well. Okay. Um, I don't know if people are familiar and with And is there, is there, does that impact? Kind of the styles that they actually. would be actually, actually, yeah, because right. I'm, I'm going to cut across okay, it. They would course. be, because a lot of people would be like, when I'm chatting away to them, the amount of people that drop designer really? wedding yeah. dress names, because yeah. you'd actually be surprised, and then people start to pick it up. It's kind of like okay. they'd be like, oh, yeah, my friend a year ago, she also wore him, okay, or she yeah, also yeah. wore her kind of thing. So you would be surprised, That's actually. Good. And a lot of people would follow yeah. the, the hashtag of their, of their design, designs. and they'd be okay. looking out for, as you said, the 2025, yeah. 2026 what's coming up, what's yeah. coming in. I wonder will Grace have it. <laughs> and a lot of the yeah. designers have their, have their own look as well. And yeah. Yeah. like, I suppose being a city centre boutique, yes. we don't just have one particular look, you know. Yeah. We we have like something to suit everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so like from the most, like we do, as I said, Spanish designers, a lot of clean lines, very okay. kind of, sophisticated bridal looks yeah and then we would have like um so that would be like a rosa clara a san patrick um and then we have like inzoni which would be a lot more fashion forward a lot of bling i've seen a lot of inzoni inzoni yeah they're, they're, amazing. Yeah, they're amazing yeah yeah a lot yeah. of cutouts like it's a lot of the time inzoni is for that kind of i won't say younger because it doesn't matter what age you are yeah. but like yeah. that more risky bride that wants to look a bit more wow. sexy yeah. a little yes, bit yeah. more yeah. like you know fitted big long train okay, okay. that kind of way um yeah. and then we also do like i suppose a randy Fidoli collection and then martina liana um evie young so yeah, I, yeah i'm forgetting loads. i'm forgetting some now but yeah we we do and like size wise as well we stock everything in store from a size eight to a size 30. Oh, so, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, amazing. It, it's so important that, um, you know, that everybody gets You're inclusive again. Like, like I, I saw that from the website. I was about to say, mm, like, yeah. like it, 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 you seem very inclusive and it's kind of, it, it's a rounded kind of service whereby there seems to be a, a reasonable kind of range of price and then also mm. like the, the range of size as mm. well. It's covering all. You're not just narrowing yourself into one specific corner. Mm. It, se it seems to be quite flexible to people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you, I just don't think you can shut yourself off and just be no, right. one thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is different. Yeah. You know, so like, why not have everything for everybody? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's growling. Oh, she's, she's, she's growling. She's the ball. She's actually torn apart Teddy. Good stuff. Okay. Teddy. She's keeping Teddy. herself busy, Grace. So um, I suppose as well as wedding dresses then, there's like, you know, when it comes to the actual bridal party. Mm -hmm. Or nowadays, the groom's party, because the grooms yeah. will be having the girls as well. Yeah. Um, grooms flower girls. Maids. It's very tricky. I don't know, no. Grooms it can be groom's maids or it can be groom's party. We had a groom's party there in the last weekend. The groom's party. Okay. Yeah. But are they still maids? I don't think anybody should call them maids. 
Oh, it's a weird it. term. It's, bro- it's bridal I party. Prefer, you see, what they did was... I prefer so bridal go, party or groom's people party. Just, people yeah. just go bridal party, right? Yeah. So what the lads were saying, no, we're having a groom's party. So it was really yeah. kind of like, yeah. there's no bridal groom's party, party. Mm, even though yeah. it's, it's a wedding. We're having a groom's party. I like it. But you're still a groom's mate. Or... Or a matron. Have. Some people might be matrons, Zora. <laughs> Laura's going to be a matron next year. Maid of Honour next year for my friends. Um, and he keeps calling me matron of honour. He keeps calling me matron of <laughs> yeah, honour. I'm like, cheers. Um, but yeah, if you're a bride's party, groom's party, and there's flower girls, and there's obviously the people that are coming with you, you sell the flower girl dresses as yeah, well, don't you? We yeah. Do so the way our boutique is yeah. laid out, upstairs is the bridal suite, and downstairs is for bridesmaids and, like, and flower girls. Yeah. We have got about 350 bridesmaids dresses. So wow. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I know. And is there multiple colours in within that as well? Yeah, or, oh God, so it's a massive <laughs> choice. I, I thought yeah. our album list was like yeah. like a hundred times five colours. This sounds off no, the charts. Wow, is, what's yeah, options? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we do three different bridesmaids designers, and then okay. for each bridesmaids designer, there's so many colour options and things like that. Right. So yeah, we, okay. Yeah. And do you find that like um, you know the way you see where all the girls would wear the same? They mm-hmm. wear the same colour, the same cut, the same dress. And then you see days where they'd have a slightly different colour palette or mm-hmm. they'd have maybe the same dress, but it has different necklines. And mm-hmm. do, I've seen that more and more. Are you noticing that? Absolutely. And yeah. it's always our advice. Now, if you get like three girls and they're all the same size and the same, like the same style. Yeah. 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 Um, and I do find as well, there are bigger wedding parties these days. Huge. I don't know if you see oh, that. No, but yeah, like, we are. Definitely. Yeah. Like it's now, it, it's more common for people to say four, whereas previously it would be kind of two would be more two, of that yeah. three, three, five, four is normal. Yeah, 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 yeah five yeah. and six yeah. and like it's just very rare to have one dress that's going to suit six girls yeah. so six w- grown women as well yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. and there could be a huge age difference as well like we because we do teen dresses as well so i find like you could have the 15 year old niece and you could yeah. have the 50 year old sister or whatever the yeah. case may be but that's right they um, try to include like denise they don't like to exclu- exclude her but they still want the sister and she's yeah. too old to be a yeah. flower girl yeah absolutely <laughs> yes, exactly. yeah, yeah there's yeah, there yeah. a thin yeah. line there but we um we would just say choose your color and your fabric okay. and and then we will style the girls to what suits them Amazing. most brides are good with that okay. um like if you can get that one dress to suit everybody happy days but yeah. um you need they need to dress their personality there is nothing worse than seeing four girls, the dress might be amazing on two or three, and the other one is standing there like feeling so really uncomfortable yeah. and okay. self-conscious yeah. and um, how do you mind the bouquet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's awful and they're obviously yeah. not having a good time because they don't feel good. Yeah. So it's just again, it's a similar to bridal. Okay. They just need to feel amazing. Um, you know, if you're spending all this money and having all this time picking yeah. out the right dress, mm. you need the bridesmaids' dresses to be beautiful, and you need them to be happy and comfortable. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And they're, they, they're, do, yeah. they do they're, need to be comfortable all day. Like, yeah. like they they are they're being helpful, and then they're going places, and they have to go yeah. be kind of they're they're on show and they're performing and they're also helping and being practical. So it's like they do have to be comfortable. So if they're yeah. uncomfortable and they're trying to help you enjoy your day and they're also trying to do little tasks and whatever, it's like, yeah. If you can't yeah. move in the bridesmaid's dress, you're not going to be able to bend down and flick out the train of the wedding dress, no, are you? absolutely <laughs> yeah. not. No, no, it's no. so true, especially in a ceremony when it's like there could be two, three hundred people sitting there and you, know, yeah. you might move the bride and yeah. to, to do her vows and the one, they want to fix the dress and the veil. So you've got that beautiful showing yeah. off the dress while you're doing the vows and the rings and all this stuff. And the bridesmaids, like some days they just fly out and they bend down they flick it out yeah. and they fly back again another day they're kind of like you can tell they're moving yeah, slowly because yeah. they're afraid that something will move or budge or yeah. they can't actually kind of get down there but um because it, it, it's obviously you need to look good yeah. it's number one you need to feel confident yeah but you need to be practical absolutely like you're there to help the bride on the wedding yeah, day yeah. in and out of cars fixing dresses yeah. everything and nothing that goes with it and it has to be like what, what the bridesmaids choose has to kind of tie in with what the bride mm. is wearing as well to a certain degree. Sure. Like w- we sometimes get bridesmaids that come in, our brides come in for bridesmaids dresses, they haven't got their own dress first. And I'm like, that's a no no because. Okay. Well, that would be like, very early, would it? Would yeah, be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, again, now it's, it's, it's the bride trying to please the 
okay. sister or the friend as opposed okay. to thinking about herself. But sure. we always say get the bridal dress first because the girls then need to tie in with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you need to stand out. You like yes. you don't want to choose like a really slim fitted bridal dress and then the girls come in in big tall ball gowns, you know. So I think it's overshadowing needs, you almost. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. I, I think it just needs to just tie in, you know, okay. maybe if the bride is wearing a high neckline, might be nice for the girls to wear something open, things like that. But okay. again, it's like personal choice and they need something that makes them feel yeah. fabulous. And I suppose yeah. material is a big thing as well because mm -hmm. certain materials are quite clingy, other materials are more forgiving yeah. and it's kind of, it, again, it's back to the, I feel yeah. good, I feel yeah. confident. And dressing yeah. for your shape and dressing for your personality okay. and yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. And then the flower girls as well, I suppose the flower girls yeah, are so cute. So cute. Yeah, you, like, yeah. I think I see more of, I suppose, the little mini ball gown version yeah. of the flower girls and that, yeah. I think that, that'll never go away, will it? No, The little no. poofy dresses and yeah, yeah the yeah. bling. Yeah, they're yeah. cute and a lot of times tie in the like they like tying in the collar of the bridesmaids dresses somewhere okay. with the flower girl dress yeah, so yeah. like all of our flower dresses you can again you can go ivory with them or you can go whatever color okay. the girls are wearing um so or you like can maybe, get the full dress in the color the yeah okay or beautiful. just maybe add in a little sash or a flower or something like okay. that yeah okay but um no they're they're doty like they're, it is very very cute yeah. a, a lot of people nowadays it's their own kids are their flower girls yeah. and their page boys yeah. and it's so important that they feel because it's their day it's so funny yeah. especially when they're like say you know the five or six Mm. and they like completely understand what's happening mom and dad yeah. are getting married and it's like they're totally this is my wedding day too yeah, <laughs> and the fact that they can go in and share that little experience with their daughter so that's gorgeous it's lovely yeah, it's lovely to really get them involved it really mm. really is and yeah. it kind of matches in that's lovely um, so yeah I suppose then with the um, I know because I meant, I meant to ask you back I'm, I'm tracking back and Benny will kill me that's right. colours when it comes to wedding dresses okay. so like you know the way you have ivory I say white, but it's never actually white if you no. think about it. But do people, because you mentioned that the colours in the veil, like the little flowers, mm. the but do you do coloured wedding dresses as well? I do. You know, the way you see kind of like, not very often, but you'll come across a, this is dramatic now, a black wedding dress. Is that mm. something that you can provide? We have a couple of black wedding you do? dresses. Yeah. Wow. Big trend in America at the moment. Yeah. Um, and I always find what happens in America and bridal kind of filters through to, you know, the European and the Irish market okay. or the UK market, whatever, yeah. a few years later. So I think I was probably a bit too soon with the black wedding dresses, but we are being asked for them now. Head of the now. times, Grace, you're head of the times. I'm yeah. head of the times, trendsetter. Trendsetter. <laughs> um, but yeah, we see a lot, an awful lot of colour. Okay. Um, particularly with Irish skin tones as well, like as I said, white is kind of a no-go. Yeah. There was a time actually when white was available in, in most dresses and things like that, but okay. very, very rare would you see it done now. Yeah. It's they it you out, doesn't it? A bit? It does, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the warmer okay. tones are better. Um, yeah. And I know I, I'm kind of slightly uh, digressive there now, but with the flower girl dresses, if mm. you're if the bride is wearing ivory, make sure that the bride the flower girl is wearing yeah. ivory because if you see white next to it, it almost makes it look dirty. It's yeah. Yeah. Color, that is really helpful yeah. because people might not realise that. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they, all they see is the little girl in the dress and like that's perfect. Yeah. And then they don't realise until yeah. standing beside yeah. it. Yeah. Or pop in like if you if you bought your if you bought your wedding dress from us, got your flower girl dress elsewhere come in bring it in put it up next to the dress just okay, to make so. sure okay um or like we can provide you with a swatch yeah. or whatever because it, it just in photographs oh it sounds no, so much yeah maybe yeah. it's just me yeah. that would yeah. no but, but if you're either that we, guy, we I mean, would I mean, have eyes yeah. like that so yeah. i might not notice it but i i do notice that when the, yeah. when the flower girl dresses are very white and yeah. she's wearing a, a champagne or something and it's yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's very different it's very different um, but you can always forgive little girls if somebody's done it it's okay it's a little oh, girl so so yeah. there's always a get out of jail where it's like it doesn't matter it's it's yeah, a little girl yeah, spinning yeah. around the dress and she's so happy. It's gas looking at the flower girls. Yeah, they really love it, don't great. they? So black is going to come on trend. Black I'm excited. Trend, if I, yeah. I better see a black wedding dress out this yeah. year. Yeah. I'm going to be excited for it. I remember going, Grace, is this yours? Is yeah. this yours? Yeah. We have sent a few <laughs> black wedding dresses to some very, very brave girls. And they're yeah. amazing. Look, it, it, white, like the ivory isn't for everybody. No. You know, no, it really no, no, isn't. No. Um, we do see an awful lot of champagne tones as well. Okay. Nude undertones, things like that. Um, I suppose from your point of view, it, you probably see the detail of the dress a bit more when there's a deeper tone underneath. You do, especially um, if there's like a bit of a, um, a lace pattern on it or yeah. even a bit of um, 
a bit of blink, a bit of sparkle, yeah. a bit of glitter. Yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. would always put sand or nude, things like that behind it. And okay. when, when the girls come in for their fitting and they're not sure what colour they want, okay. we provide like um, different colours that we put underneath. So we have like literally a metre of oh, your wow. stan fabric, your ivory fabric, your nude fabric that we can put underneath so that they can see what it will look like and visualise it. Um, There's so much thought goes into it. I know there, there yeah. is, yeah, yeah. But it do, it is totally worth it though, because the end product is just like that yeah. wow factor, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So black might be coming. Is there any other colours you do? Blue, um, blue. light okay. blue. Yeah, yeah. I've seen an awful lot of that, particularly oh. this. Now again, because we buy so so far in advance, um, but there I, I I've seen an awful lot of blue in the last few weeks as well. Wouldn't it be amazing um, if colours started coming in? Yeah, it'd be lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or flower like different like. I suppose ivory dresses, but with coloured flowers and that on ah, the dresses okay. itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we had so. a wedding um, two weeks ago. And okay, she had a like a dress, and it did have the, oh, wow. the coloured flowers on it. And it kind of walked into the I room, even and it. he even noticed it. <laughs> okay, it was it, it was really special. It was I thought it, it yeah, suited it her really. Did she yeah. picked right, like yeah. in, in the sense of the, that? Well, she had quite yeah. a pale complexion, okay. and she had blonde hair. So she said that she when she was kind of. She did. I asked her, did she? Tr did you try on mm. like you know more of a plainer color or a traditional kind of wedding dress color? And she said she did, and okay. she had kind of seen this before and had it in her mind that she might like it, and then tried it on and was like, oh no, wait, this is me. Wow. Yeah, isn't that lovely though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But it kind of opens doors for people though, because a lot of time people think. God, a wedding dress. I just, I don't wear dresses. Mm -hmm. And do, do, so not me, but people say, I don't wear dresses. And then the thought of wearing a wedding dress, you're kind of going, God, that doesn't feel like me at all. Do you do, so obviously the color is something mm -hmm. that people can kind of like, yeah, yeah. you know, bring their personality in, which is amazing. Do you do anything that's not a dress? We do. Okay. We have um, trouser suits. Nice. And we have jumpsuits. Wow. wow. Okay. So yeah. yeah, like it's not for everybody. And I yeah. keep going back to, shop for your personality you want to express yeah. yourself on your wedding day so okay. um yeah we have some really cool so you don't uh, have to wear a dress on your wedding day no nope. no nope. do whatever you want yeah. you can wear you could show up in a black trousers yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that would go too far yeah yeah, yeah. and ju just out of interest so you, you mentioned the the bridal kind of uh, experience of how they shop then the bridesmaids how's that how does that work um in terms of kind of like is that by appointment as well yeah, is that kind absolutely. of just um so everything is private um because yeah. i suppose we want to give people time you know sure. um and where we're based as well if we had an open door policy <laughs> yes. oh you'd have everyone going oh and you up. have mom yeah. come on in i show you yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, sometimes i feel bad when people come to the door and i'm like sorry again. you know yeah. people in the window yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah um but generally speaking people know that you know okay. when you go to bridal shop we do work by appointment and it's exactly the same for the bridesmaids okay um so and, and i suppose to give people uh, a rough idea as well like how not not but obviously they contact you by phone or email or yeah. the form online but what's the kind of lead time for appointments is it like is there times when it's just like it's chocker like if yeah. people are kind of like trying to plan their time um i would say give yourself as much time as, as you possibly can like okay. particularly if you're looking for a weekend appointment or yeah. saturdays do tend to book out kind of four to six weeks in advance wow. okay. um and then midweek i'd always give a week or two um so yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah. During the week, obviously, most people are nine to five are kind of more more kind of working, and uh, yeah. but obviously weekends is they can coordinate yeah. numbers of people together. Of course, yeah, yeah, and yeah. again, because I suppose we're where we are located, they love getting the girls around, okay. going for a few glasses of bubbly, and that's true, after actually, the appointment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put them, put them, Come so, in and open a bottle of bubbly. Someone yeah, once yeah, said yeah. that it's like like your wedding can be fun and you can go somewhere and have a good time, and then yeah. it, but like try not to make a decision like when you've kind of had too many place. glasses of champagne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some girls love the whole wedding dress experience. Like they, they would do the yeah. weekend over and over, like in yeah. all around the country in different shops. Yeah. A lot of times they end up back at the first place they went to because they had their eye on the dress yeah. they wanted. Yeah. But it's kind of just more for the experience. It the happens. With the girls. It happens. Like yeah. I, I, I personally, I'm not that type of shopper myself. Like yeah. when I got married, I literally went in, had a lovely experience, got the first dress I tried on. Wow. Perfect. So then when I, I see say, people... I did one day, Grace. Did yeah, you? One day yeah. with the girls. I went to two different shops and literally just put a deposit down and went yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just, just, yeah. I'm just like that in all aspects yeah. of life anyway. But some people are more like, they just don't make decisions easy. And they yeah. feel like even though they may have found the dress, um, they still feel as if they're missing out on the days out and stuff okay. like that. And like, okay. we would never pressurize anybody into buying something, even if we think the one it's like yes. you yeah. do what you need to do okay you know and they'll always come back if it is the one you know okay. like we, yeah. we want somebody to be 100 before they commit because 
it's not in our favor if they're not no. because you don't want to last minute through second thinking it do no. you yeah, no 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 yeah. absolutely yeah. not yeah that's 100% um, and the, with the do a lot of people do two wedding dresses though I know you said like obviously the, the skirts and the sleeves yeah. and the accessories and you can add things or take things off and veils on and off yeah. and it's kind of a way of changing it up for the evening but do you do you get the two wedding dress requests um much rarer now than okay. what it used to be because of all of the changes yes um and but you don't have to i suppose do you? no you yeah. don't and when people come in and they ask for two i say look can we just have a look at one and see what we can do with the okay. one? Okay, okay. Um, I'm probably doing myself out of money by doing that. But at the same time, I, but yeah. it's honest and yeah. I feel as if they have to love it mm. enough that they don't want yeah. to get out of it until four o'clock in the morning. You know, that they yeah. just... No, but great, I, yeah. I, I genuinely yeah, yeah. have been at wedding days where they're, they'll tell me, I have two dresses mm. and, you know, I'm going to say, put on the second one for the first dance. That's that's the plan, just a rough plan. And the amount of times that you'll be there and you go up to them and the, I know the band are about 20 minutes away from starting, she's still in the first dress and yeah. I say like if you want to change that dress now like you have to go now because they're going to come looking for you and they're so funny they're like oh I don't want to take it off and you're, okay, you're so right wow. you're like I, I like the other one as well but yeah, I'm like yeah. oh now that I'm in it yeah. I'm just feeling great now they do usually go take it off but you okay. kind of like have to you have to kind of push them out the door yeah. <laughs> and then they're taking time out of their wedding then that's a good True. you know really yeah. and they're like they, yeah. they like if somebody is changing into a different dress they could be changing into a different neckline, which might mean different hair. Okay. Yeah. It might mean like if it's a more casual look, they might want like a bright red lip as opposed yeah. to, you know, so like it's not just the dress. They yeah. might have to change the shoes. They could be gone for an hour mm -hmm. and they're missing Oh, they're missing the crack and I'm the so wedding that they've up. spent yeah. so much money on and yeah. it's so true though okay. like, and I know some people like to take a bit of time out to themselves because it can be very mm. overwhelming with a lot of people and of course, yeah. everyone kind of is, I suppose is different when it comes to social interactions but um, but you're dead right it's kind of like it, you because when you're talking to people and they say that to me they say I've actually got a second dress and my um, upside it's actually is going to come back and she's going to put my mm. hair it was up and now it's going to be down and I'm going to just change this <laughs> and I kind of get and I say the same yeah, like okay so when are you doing this and when is this hour happening mm. like because you need to kind of put it in that you're not leaving obviously you don't want your band to start too late because you want to get the most out of them of but you also don't want you to leave, leave your guests waiting yeah. that there's kind of that lingering kind of like well we can't start because it's taking you a bit longer to change the hair or the dress now as I said this might be for some people and they're like they don't really mind and they're going to go upstairs and they're going to you know redo yeah. it all but it does make things a lot easier just to literally go clip yeah, yeah. off it goes <laughs> throw it away <laughs> you'll wrap it around your head later yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is true so I suppose for the 2024 season mm -hmm. what's trending this year what are we going to be seeing because we're at the start of the year now yeah yeah um, like wedding dresses are, I always say, go with something that isn't trending. Okay, I like it. Okay, You're going yeah, to be yeah. looking back in years and years to come. I know what you mean. When, when we, we always have the aunt who says, look what I made you wear to the bridesmaids or something like that. So you're probably t talking about those lines, those lines yeah. like just because it's in vogue for six months. Yeah, no, I, I, I think you just need, like there, there are always going to be little trends. Like I do okay. find, say like the low V and the high slit and okay. these are things that are kind of creeping in and um, okay. open corsets, uh, outside bodices, things like that. Yeah. But I, I bows, bows, bows. Yeah. Randy told us last week he doesn't trust anybody that doesn't like a bow. So we're like, hey. okay. Hey. Well, you know what you're nice. wearing the next time you see him then, yeah. yeah. Throw on your you bow know, my hair. Just show up with this <laughs> massive bow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bows are everywhere. Um, but I like I just think you need to go with something that's that okay. you're going to look back in years to come and go yeah like my wedding dress that I that I wore oh, I should know this 13 years ago <laughs> um you know, sh you know I'll still look back on I would have chosen that today yeah you know, that's amazing okay yeah yeah, yeah. You, I, yeah you, you you don't regret it that decision do you regret yours no I love my wedding dress yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah you're probably yeah. right like yeah, like if you yeah. think like yeah yeah and styles don't change that much okay. like you might sure. see different features different fabrics things like that but styles and shapes and things like that they, they they're pretty much you know stay the same over a course of time because they um, work because they yeah, work that's exactly. it. Yeah. That's very yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. 
But Grace, thanks so much for coming. You were more than welcome. So much information there. And I could keep asking you questions, but I kind of feel like I might keep you here for the rest of the afternoon and we could deep dive into dark corners, Grace. (laughs) Too much information. No, I knew all this information. (laughs) (laughs) It's amazing when you're sitting there and it starts coming out, isn't it? You'd be coming in going, do I I know the answer? Yeah. You live and breathe it. It's kind of like, it's it's second nature though too, I suppose, at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You even survived the puppy. I mean, she was on one today. I love puppies. She was on one today though. Hopefully she'll be around for the next guest. Yeah, I think you're going to have to start, start walking her. I will. Um, <laughs> great. Thanks very Thank much for Thank you so in. much. That was amazing.